banged my knee. <laughs> I'm always messing about, aren't I? Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porks, still the voice of hardcore boxing. I'm going to put my Dennis Hobson outfit on, what do you reckon? Stuart Surridge, they make cricket bats don't they? Fight Academy. Not exactly the man at CNA am I? But it's a freebie so cheers Dan. Uh, I hope you liked the last video I've just done. I'm looking after you all today. I'm going to Leeds in a minute. I'm going on a bit of business for Dennis. Uh, all it tea boy though, aren't I? I ain't going to pick tea bags up. I'm just going to uh, see somebody on behalf of him. It's all, it's all good, isn't it? All positive stuff. I think deep down we need no signings. That's what we need. But it's always going to pay for a minute, and that, do they do tickets and all that? It's, it's an hard slog, isn't it? You've got to have a structure, haven't you? Do you know what I mean? I'd have been better at this if uh, I'd still been working with a local promoter, who we shall remain nameless, because I'm here to learn, aren't I? I don't know everything. I'm here to learn, and Boxing is the only sport where we can all get at it and fall out, isn't it? It's the sport unlike any other. So, but, I mean, it's, uh, once you sift through the, once you sift through the bull, uh, you, you manage to work it out for yourself, don't you? Great, uh, thank you to all them people who, I'm sure I've lost some money. I've lost some money out of my pockets. Uh, shout out to all them people who subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, go to the right hand side of your screen and click the red button and you get your porky fix straight to your phone. So thank you very much, and thank you very much to all them people who subscribe and share it now. I were on Twitter, and obviously people kept saying, he's been banned off Twitter twice, you need to ban him. It went a bit higher up than what it should have done, how I got took off Twitter. But eventually they got me, didn't they? So, I'm done with that now. On the analytics, right? Yeah, and what, we don't get to do anything on Twitter, but thank you for the, to the people who are on Twitter, who have been going on YouTube and been pressing the share button and sharing my videos to Twitter and to Facebook. And the ones that share it to the bit that says other, I'm assuming that's Instagram, because there's only three social media sites, or four, is there with YouTube, I don't know, there's a few. I don't know all that stuff, I'm, I'm not computer trained, I'm a bit... I'm not sharp as two-link box with computers. But I want to say thank you very much. But what I am is a numbers man. I've got an obsession with numbers like my little boy. Now, looking on here, uh, we're up to 22% of people watching content on Twitter. Now, when I were on Twitter, it were, it went 30-odd. So I used to boom, 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 put it straight on Twitter, share the videos. And what upset me when I did get kicked off Twitter last time was... The fact that I'd not even done anything, I didn't get into any beef, I just, I ain't with anybody. Nicholas said, we'll just share them on there and that's it, we, I didn't interact. Well, yeah, I didn't, unless you were a direct message, I never... So that's how you get to find out that people have got you kicked off there, and of course then you get the emails, people saying, ha ha, here's a screenshot, I reported you well. The same people are trying to do it on YouTube, but it ain't going to happen. How can it happen? Press that button there that says 18 and over. So, it's one of them things, isn't it? It's one of them things. Not even had a warning on YouTube. So, it's all good positive stuff, isn't it? Well, YouTube and my partner, aren't they? So, it's going to be hard for you to get me kicked off YouTube, but my advice is keep trying your best because what you'll do. You waste all your energy in it, and it's like you're digging two graves in it, really. You dig in your own as well as mine. Oh, spend your time on something constructive. 
like tweeting Joe Gallagher telling him that he uh, goes to Tesco's all the time. Right, let's have a look here. Oh, we're here with glasses. You know, these are like metal and sharp as all. Same glasses as Jurgen Klopp. Oakley. Except Jurgen's around, aren't they? Right. Billy Joe Saunders. Why can't Dazone get these men in the ring? Billy Joe Saunders, right? What can we say about Billy Joe Saunders that's not already been said? Area champion, British champion, Commonwealth, European and a world champion, WBO. He fought Andy Lee for the title. So it went a vacant belt, we fought him and beat him on points in a very, very close fight. Andy Lee, I'm not a fan of, I don't even like him, but he was knocking people out, wasn't he? So good luck to him, but I'm not a fan at all. Uh, how can I explain it? Andy Lee's a career like middle though, isn't he? Billy Joe's now at Super, so Billy's a bigger man, but I thought Andy Lee held his own in that fight, and he fought a good fight, but the two times he got dropped cost him dearly, if you check the scorecards. What I mean by checking scorecards, where if you check all three judges' cards, I think you might see that the two knockdowns made the difference. But Billy, because he dropped him, Billy, didn't he? Twice. I think Bernard said four times over there, didn't he? No, well, twice. Now, Andrade, Billy Joe Saunders, Canelo, those three. And Triple G, sorry. Those four. No, those three. Well, you could throw them all in mix. Triple G, Jacobs, Canelo, Saunders, Andrade. You could have one, two or three fights with all them mixed. I mean, how is that? Two, four. There's five people there. But yet we've got Luke Keeler in a fight that I said he'd get knocked out in against Andrade. How on earth is Luke Keeler? Let me show you something here. How on earth did Luke Keeler get that fight? I don't mean to criticise, but I do, don't I? Because there's that much bull around it all, isn't there? Now, Luke Keeler, right? Luke Keeler's world ranking is 28, right? He's 17 and 3 with one draw. Now, he's just fought for a world title, but yet he's ranked 28 in the world. <laughs> he's not even in the top 15 to pick from the top 15 is he he might have been with the WBO but the actual box wreck which is the bible 28th in the world he's got a KO percentage record a 23% 23% KO ratio right and he's the away fighter he's fighting a guy ranked number 5 in the world but the guy has a belt so Boxrec don't even make Andrade the best middleweight in the world. This is the problem we have. We have five belts in boxing that we all respect as the five governing bodies. The WBC, the WBA, the WBO, the IBF and the IBO. People say the IBO is the fifth best belt. Andrade is ranked number five in the Bible. So he's the fifth best middleweight against the guy who's ranked 28th. Now the 28th guy has got a very poor KO ratio, right? And the other guy, he's got a 62% KO ratio and he's fought at a higher level. Now we all saw what he did to Brian Rose, didn't we? It's Brian Rose he shouldn't have even been in that fight, but He's another one that were, were lamped at slaughter. A little bit like Lee Purdy was against uh, Devin Alexander. The point I want to make is this. I hope everybody took my advice and put money on Andrade to knock him out. Now, when's Andrade going to step up? That's what I want to know. When is he going to step up and fight somebody with a pulse? I don't think it's a lot to ask. I just want to know when it's going to happen. That's all I want to know. When is it going to happen? But we're going to see, aren't we? 
we're going to see. But at the moment, Andrade is 29 and 0. And Billy Joe Saunders is. Billy Joe Saunders, I think he's 29 and 0 as well. So Billy Joe, 29 and 0, and he's a southpaw, right? And Andrade. Andrade is. He's 29 and 0. And he and he's uh, a southpaw as well now. Billy Joe Saunders, if he fights Andrade, he'll lose his advantage, won't he? Now a southpaw has an advantage against an orthodox. I'm just breaking it down to you. That's because an orthodox is right-hander and a southpaw's left. Now, for your, for those for those new viewers, I'm just going to tell you something here. But it's a little bit boring, but now, for example, you go into box rec here, and look, there you go, this is what we all look at. And then you go into world rankings, European, Commonwealth, British, blah blah blah, whatever country, and you go male, female. Right. We're looking at mid we're looking at middleweights at the moment, aren't we? So in the world at the moment, there is 1556 middleweights. If you're a male, if you're a female, there's 27. <laughs> so there's 27 middleweights in the world at female. 1,566. In, uh, in the men. So... That's the bottom line, isn't it? It's, and there's only 14 middleweights in America. I mean, how crazy is that? So, let's have a look how many southpaws there is. Now, let me click on it. This is, how, this is what you do when you're looking for sparring partners. If we put a kid like... Perry Howe, our fighter Perry Howe. If he needs to spar a southpaw... I'll be asking us how many southpaws is there in his division and I'll say X amount, how many is there in area, I'll say X amount, who do we know who can get in me, that's how it works, so let me just show you something here, middleweights in the world southpaws, right, there is 126 in the world, so you've got 1566, Boxers, but only 126, right? Southport. So Billy Joe Saunders, the majority of people he's going to fight with them percentages are going to be orthodox fighters, aren't they? Right? So he's not going to be going up against that many southpaws. Andrade is a southpaw. Billy's saying he wants to fight him and all this. Now, this has been going on and on and on. They designed one fight, didn't they, to fight, and then Billy pulled out, or something happened. Oh, he got he failed a, a drug test, didn't he? Uh, he failed a drug test, and they said it was nasal spray. Nasal spray. Point being, that fight can still happen. Is it a good fight? Yeah, you bet it's a good fight. But it just prolongs it, doesn't it, for Canelo. If Billy loses against Andrade, there'll be a rematch clause. And if he wins against Andrade, if he loses, sorry, against Andrade, it doesn't matter, he keeps his belt. But if he wins against Andrade, if he wins against Andrade, he's, he can still make the Canelo fight. But there'll be a rematch clause because it's all about prolonging it and getting mileage out of it. Eddie Hearn's got Andrade here, WBO World Middleweight Champion. And in his left hand, he's got Billy Joe Saunders, WBO Super Middleweight Champion. There's eight pound difference. That eight pound for Billy to come down uh, is going to be hard. That's going to be very, very hard, I think, for the simple reason that Billy Joe Saunders. 
Uh, he's not fought for ages, has he, at that weight. I'll tell you last time Billy Joe Saunders fought as a middleweight. Uh, sorry, as a super middleweight. Because don't forget, we're talking about eight pounds now. Eight pounds a lot. Billy Joe Saunders, the last time he fought in middleweight was three years ago. No. Yeah, 2017. 2017, Billy Joe Saunders, last fought. David Lemieux, 2017, 16th of December. So Billy Joe Saunders has not made that weight. If he fights this summer against somebody at middleweight, it'll be two and a half year. Now, so that's why I think it could be smoke and mirrors. There might be a saying they want to fight Andrade, but really want to fight Canelo. Why would Eddie Hearn want one of his fighters to fight another one and take a belt off him? When, so the, I think it's smoke and mirrors. They're trying to confuse people and they're really going for Canelo. All right? Canelo is the lottery ticket for Billy to get out of boxing, isn't it, really? And if it's a close fight, he might get another bite at Cherry. But then again, you've got Oscar De La Roy in the background, haven't you? And look what he's doing, Oscar. He's going to do everything he can to cheese Eddie Hearn off. That's what he's going to do. But it's exciting times ahead, as Mr Bean says. This is why we love the sport so much, Johnny. Rough, tough, rugged! Creepy Bean. Bean! Everybody loves it when I do my Bean! But somebody says to me, you're on Boxing Asylum, Russ. Uh, Steve Wellings keeps taking extracts out of my sayings and bleeping them into the show. So, I don't know. I think I need to get out more. What do you reckon, Steffi? I think I need to get out more. We need to get Terry Chap and Dharma back on the show, don't we? Or I think the stig might be ready for a comeback. Do you know what I mean? Or the, the other one. What's it called? What's the other one? I didn't even press it then. What's the other one called? Stig's Airy Chester will keep texting. But, I don't know what's going on. But who really cares? I mean, Billy Joe Saunders doesn't sell a ticket in England. Nobody wants to watch him in England, right? But he's a masterful boxer. We can't get away from that fact that he can fight. So can Tyson Fury, they can both fight. But they seem to have styles that just want to mess you about, a bit like with politics behind the scenes, isn't it? They just mess you about, don't they, and do your head in that. I just think that, I just want to see Billy and me a fight now. He's got David Lemieux on his record, a former champion. Andy Lee, he took belt off him, well done. And Eubank, he beat him before Eubank won a IBO. So really, I think Billy's got to step it up. I mean, who's Tyson got on his record? Between pair of them, they've got four or five world champions on the records, and you could pick holes in every single one of them, couldn't you, really? Vladimir, we could say, we're pushing 40 year old, he'd come to end of his time. 69th fight. Steve Cunningham will fight in years later after he won a cruiserweight but he was fighting it anyway and he actually dropped Tyson their Tyson's two wins of the world champions then you've got Billy Joe with Andy, Andy Lee a light middle they well, were fighting at middle but he's a light, he was a light middle most of his career David Lemieux he took him to school but he was a former champion on slide and you know Eubank I mean very technically limited and it was before they won an IBO, which were a gift. But yeah, all we're hearing for the last five years is we're going to do this and we're going to do that. Tyson's judgment day is going to come, in it, against Wilder. And he says he's going to knock him out. So that means he wins on points. But who knows, he might just ice Wilder. He might come out and just, they might have a Hagler Hearns, but look, let's just don't change the spots. Is Billy Joe going to fight Canelo? No, I don't think he will. But who knows? Maybe they are gonna, but I'm even changing my mind now. Will he fight Golovkin? I don't know, but how old is Golovkin now? Let's have a little look how old he is. 
Let's have a look how old Golovkin is. Right. Well, he's moved up a weight now. Gabe Rosado, is he a, oh, he's a middleweight. He's still got a decent ranking, Gabe Rosado. Right, Gennady Golovkin, rank number two in the world across all the divisions. 40 wins, one loss, one draw. I thought he'd beat uh, Canelo in both them, but you're not going to get a decision against Canelo. We know how it goes. Gennady Golovkin, how old is he? He's 38 in a few weeks. <laughs> He's 38 in 8 weeks, 38 years of age, so Canelo, sorry, Triple G is 39 years old next year, 39 next year, will Billy wait while he's 40, or will he get him when he's 39, who knows, exciting times ahead, exciting times ahead, rough, tough, rugged, this is why we love this sport so much Johnny, I don't know, but it can drive you mad, can't it, all this? Billy Joe Saunders waiting to fight the Triple G. Will he get him when he's 40? I don't know. If he'd have been with Jimmy Tibbs, he'd have fought Triple G by an hour and won. But this is what I said when I wrote about money over day in that video. There's a lot of possibilities. You've got people in these people's back ear holes non-stop. What these people are doing, they're trying to work things out for themselves. Terry Chapandama once said something which was really good on his podcast. He said, it all depends how many people are eating at the table. For example, when Andy Ruiz knocked Joshua out, it was like a morgue in the dressing room. Do you know why? Well, it's simple, isn't it? Joshua's there on 30 million. Are you 31 million or something? So McCracken's on 3.1 million each trainer, isn't he? So he, he's thinking, God, if Joshua retires here, that's me done, isn't it? I've got plans. And down the line, everybody's getting, a f everybody's feeding, aren't they? That's, it's like a lion going out and grabbing antelope, taking it back to the den to eat it, and everybody having a piece of it. And if that lion can't go out and get that, what's going to happen? All the cubs are going to starve, aren't they? Or, they're going to go to another pride of lions and they're going to, well, feed off them, but I call it poncing. I call it poncing for the simple reason that you can't really begrudge train or anything, can you? But I think there's too many people around Joshua and me with their, hands, with their noses in the trough. There's too many people. That's what I think. I think that I hear, I hear stories all, all day long. Some I'm not going to repeat, but how many people are, are, feet, are eating at the dinner table? Terry calls it, they're all going to, how many people are eating? He always says, look who's feeding off it. And he's right, isn't he? You've got all them people, they're feeding off Joshua. Well, it's no different with Billy Joe when he were up at Ingle Gym. They're all going to want him to go into certain fights. I mean, look at Kel Brook. We'll come to that in a minute. But will Billy Joe Saunders fight Canelo this year? I'd like to think he'll fight him in May, but he's a southpaw and he's a tricky fight for Canelo. But you've got to look at it like this. If Kovalev can't knock Canelo out and he's a big puncher, Billy Joe Saunders is not going to knock him out, is he? So that means that Billy Joe Saunders has got to outbox him. Will he get a decision on points against Canelo in Vegas? Because it's not going to be in England, is it? Because Billy doesn't sell a ticket. So Billy's, Billy's going to sit there in the cold heart light of day, or whatever they call it. He's going to sit here and he's going to say, I'm fighting Canelo, his biggest star in boxing. He's 49 and 1 and a draw. 49 and 1 1. The biggest star in boxing, Canelo. I'm fighting him in Vegas, that's number two. Number three, he's a four-weight world champion. He's been in with Mayweather and one of the judges had it a draw against Mayweather. Although Canelo got beat, he's on a defeat. I had him losing easily. He knows he can't knock him out, he hasn't got the power. Can he outbox him? Maybe. But will he get the decision? 
The advantage he's got is he's a southpaw. Other than that, that is it. He's not going to take an army out there, is he? We know that, don't we? But I think he's got a decent his chance. Will Eddie Hearn want to get him in that fight? You bet he will. He knows he's going to get paid. The Canelo fights and the lottery pays. They're the lottery paydays. And Eddie Hearn's going to want to get as many millions in bank as he can before the zone port plug. What Eddie Hearn's got at the moment, he's on a time limit. How many British promoters ever have had two TV deals? We've got the pond here in the middle and the pond, right? Dazone here, and they're going up against them all. HBO have already pulled that box in. So you've got Dazone here, and you've got Sky here. You've got Coogan Cassius, the glue in between. And up there you've got the EIS, lottery funded plays. They've got a conveyor belt of Olympians and Team GB World Championship, European Championship boxers. And all them boxers, where are they going? They're all going to Eddie Earn for first pick. And we've got McCracken saying to Eddie Earn, he's a good fighter, Emil Mackett. He's another Carl Frotch, he's another Joshua. He's got the devil in him, sign him Eddie. What about him, Robert? No, he won't make it him. He's always late for training, he's out partying at night. And there's just something not right about him. He's got hand injuries, so don't sign him. We'll let Frank Warren have him. And that's how it's working. But nobody's saying a word, only me. Ah, marvellous. Frank Warren says a few words about it. Dennis has mentioned it on channel. But there's only really me, there's only really me having a go. Now, we're going to see how it goes. But I've got an interview all being well with somebody. Right? from up there, so let's see if this person keeps this person's word, let's see if they keep the word and um, we can talk about a few things about it, can't we? so we're gonna see aren't we? Uh, we're gonna see but that's about it really I don't know what to call this video but I'll think of something when I get home this will be up tomorrow, Tuesday it's Monday now 20 to 2 and now uh, I've got to go to Leeds. But, as I've just said to you, it remains to be seen what is going to happen now with Billy Joe Saunders' career. I think it's a shame what's happened. It's been stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. But if he doesn't fight Canelo in May, this is what I'm going to say. I told you. Because Frank Warren, he couldn't deliver it. He delivered Canelo for Liam Smith. You've got to respect Liam Smith, he took the Canelo fight, didn't he? And lost his world title. But Liam Smith doesn't sell a ticket in England, so they put him on a plane, didn't they, to America. He was there just to lose, wasn't he? But full credit to him for taking the fight. So what's the hold-up with Billy Joe? Does he want to protect his own? What's the hold-up? I don't know, has he got the tools to beat Canelo? You bet he has. But will he get the decision? That's the main thing. And that's what will be the main argument. It can't be money, can it? Because Billy knows he's probably going to get 10 million. So it's got to be uh, whether he's going to get the decision or not. They're going to want fair judging. Eddie will be telling him all sorts. We'll get independent judges and all that. Look, independent judges don't mean no. They're still going to be put in an hotel in Vegas. They're going to be giving casino chips, limousine. You can bring your family over and lock. The judges that are going to be there are going to be from Nicaragua, Australia, and Iceland or whatever. Timbuktu. They're not going to be from England or America. But it's just anything to get him to fight. I mean, they nearly got him in the ring with Andrade, but look what happened. So. I don't know. But if Billy Joe Saunders doesn't fight Canelo this May, how can we get? How can I? I can't get behind him. And I'm a massive Billy Joe fan. Not as big a fan as I am of Frankie Gavin or Ryan Rhodes and Fox and Josh Whale, but I'm still a massive fan. But I just want to see good fights. I don't want to be messed about. I don't want to. I don't want to see Coogan Cassius coming on interviewing these people, and he knows damn right. He knows damn well what's going on. And Billy Joe's his mate. I mean, Coogan's got a tattoo down there, all the way down his arm, of uh, one of Billy Joe's relatives, is it? He 